What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks where we unbox and review cool shit almost every single day. And today's unboxing is going to be a very cool one and I am genuinely excited. Even though here in Ohio we just got our first real snow of the season, it might as well be October. And this week feels like Halloween week because yesterday's video was a Michael Myers related piece, today's video is a Michael Myers related piece, and tomorrow's video will also, you guessed it, a Michael Myers related piece. Now fortunately for me, this piece is actually going to allow me to talk about one of my all-time favorite things about the Halloween franchise ever, and talk about my all-time favorite scene from my all-time favorite Halloween film. So my buddy Tim from Dirt Nap Effects hit me up a couple days ago on Facebook and he said, hey man, what's your address? I've got something for you. So I gave him my address and it piqued my curiosity because I've never actually received an item from Dirt Nap Effects. Tim has given me masks over the years, but they've been like distortions, unlimited masks, just stuff that I needed for for my collection. So I gave him one of these and he said, hey, do you want to see it or do you want it to be a surprise? Clearly, I'm an impatient motherfucker, so I said, go ahead and show me that, and he did, and I was super, super happy. Either way, I think it would have made for a cool video whether it was a surprise or whether I found out, because if it was a surprise, then my general reaction from not knowing what was in the package would have been pretty cool. But the fact that I was kind of able to think about what I was going to say about this piece will definitely also make for a cool video. So, I feel like every collector has one of those moments from the Halloween series that is just their all-time favorite moment. It's something that's probably pretty nostalgic and just something that speaks to them on a different level. And while yes, Halloween 2 is my all-time favorite Michael Myers film, it's mostly due to the fact that Dick Warlock was the one playing Michael Myers. I feel like his portrayal of Michael Myers is just untouchable. The way that the mask had aged and yellowed and weathered up, combined with the way that it looked while it was on his face, just the actual shape that the mask took, it looked a lot more sinister than the first film, and it was just fucking evil. Combine that with the fact that I think he was the smallest Michael Myers in the franchise, there's just something really cool about this really average sized dude that has this ungodly strength. And to go ahead and top it all off, I think he has the coolest mannerisms. He obviously has the coolest walk in the series. Super, super robotic, very inhumane. There's just something about the way that his movements and mannerisms were in that film that are absolutely perfect. But to be more specific about why the item in this box is so special to me is because of a certain scene. My all-time favorite scene in my all-time favorite movie. The Elrod scene. Now I could go on and on and on about the reasons that I enjoy this scene, but for the sake of time, I will just try to make this as quick as possible and maybe limit us from a 30 minute video of me speaking about a scene to a 10 minute video about me showing off the product that's in this box. The cinematography with this scene was on point and going through those old alleys, it just definitely makes me think of a whole different time. This back alley in particular looks like the streets that I grew up on. Obviously I was a skateboarder, so I was in alleys all the time just going around with my friends skating and a lot of times we we ended up in those alleys at nighttime, and this just looks like something that I saw growing up. As Michael Myers makes his way into the house, this once again just reminded me of houses that I grew up in. Different relatives have houses that look exactly like this. And I was born and raised on the east end of Chillicothe, which if you guys Google that shit, it's pretty hood. So while this house might have been nice for that time, typically what ends up happening is those people get old, their kids take over, and then those houses just stop getting updated, so everything looks run down and out of date, and it's just a very, very nostalgic, personal feel. I definitely feel this house. I also like that half of this scene is from Michael Myers' point of view. Just the way that he reaches his hand down and grabs that knife is fucking beautiful to me. I don't know why, but it just does something. And not to my penis. Okay, maybe to my penis. So then we see Michael Myers in the background, and this is just the absolute most evil that I think Michael Myers has ever looked. He just looks fucking angry. Now, he obviously lets the Elrods live, and in reality, this scene is pretty fucking pointless. Like, he steals this knife, doesn't kill these random people, but then immediately walks next door and kills another random person. Never really understood that. I mean, clearly it was just for the body count of the film, but I don't know why he wouldn't have just gone ahead and killed the Elrods, too. That is my only gripe with the scene. But yeah, now that that history left, lesson is over, I'm going to go ahead and get on into the package and show you guys what Tim sent. This is going to make for an absolutely beautiful display. Like I said, I've only seen it online and I am very, very excited to see it here in person. So let's go ahead and see if we can pull it out. Pretty much the opposite of what I do with your mom. I should show you guys this first. Alright, so wrapped up here, we have the base for the actual item that he sent me and uh, this just adds a touch of cool to the display. Now clearly here we have a Halloween 2 base, and boy I wonder what that could hold. So in here we have the actual creme de la creme of this video wrapped up nicely to keep it safe and sound and probably keep anyone that was shipping this item safe and sound. We've got 
a perfect replica L-Rod knife. And wow, this thing is fucking gorgeous. And it is surprisingly convention safe. You know, when this was coming, I didn't know if this was going to be a sharp, scary replica, but it's actually totally convention safe. So that is fucking rad. Definitely a big ups for someone that makes stuff like this because you can take this stuff to conventions. You can buy it at conventions, you can sell it at conventions. And uh, yeah, it's like a win-win for everybody, but this thing is definitely meaty and uh, it's got some fucking weight to it. So that is fucking rad. Wow, how beautiful. So this is a special occasion, not only because it's the first thing from Tim that I've got and not only because it's from my favorite movie, but this is the first replica knife that we've ever done on this channel. A long, 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 long time ago, I had an H2 replica scalpel, but it was nowhere near the caliber of this. And I've just never gotten around to ordering any other replica knives for my display. So yes, very, very cool. Not only is it the first knife unboxing, but it's also my favorite knife from my favorite scene of my favorite movie. So huge shout out to Tim. The craftsmanship here is just on another level. This thing is absolutely fucking gorgeous, and I really cannot wait to get this in the H2 display. Definitely going to go next to my Halloween 2 bust that is next to the TV in the living room. There's no doubt about it, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this into the base. Wow, that is fucking sick. Super, super cool. I always get nervous about doing like reviews on stuff that I'm not super familiar with, especially since the whole bootleg figure debacle, but this is fucking rad. I think this video kind of just made itself. It was like the perfect combination of cool stuff happening, cool memories, cool product, and uh, yeah, I'm super, super happy with it. So again, a huge shout out to Tim over at Dirtnap FX. If you guys are interested in looking him up, I'm going to be dropping his information down below. Been a great friend of mine for years and years, I think. I mean, we've got to be coming up on probably close to 10 years of knowing each other, which is super crazy. And he's a very, very talented dude that dabbles in a lot of different mediums, so it's not just knife stuff. He makes all kinds of different props, and I would definitely recommend checking him out. So with all that being said, I think that's going to just about do it for today's video. As always, I'm going to leave you guys with some nice up-close shots of this thing. We will definitely be taking it out into the living room and putting it on display with my H2 bust, and that will be that. So another huge thank you to Tim. Thank you very much, sir. I am greatly, greatly appreciative of this. Seriously, it's fucking awesome. You really know me well. And a huge thank you to you guys for watching. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. And until next time, say no to drugs and alcohol, and we will see you later.